Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday morning. It's a cold Monday morning in Ohio. Oh, I give up. This is Sugar's kids and her adoptee, little Schnauzer. Uh, they're all doing really good. They just had a bath, so we can't do a thing with them. <laughs> That's because we gave them a bath. So they had their first bath this morning. And as soon as I'm done with this video, Vanessa's going to cut toenails and I'm going to take pictures. But I'm going to hold them up and let you see faces. They've all got their eyes open. They're all doing, oh, they're not pushing you over the table. You're fine. And uh, starting to get really curly. We haven't dumped them out of the welt box. They'll be three weeks old on tomorrow. tomorrow. On tomorrow. Um, and this little guy, the little Schnauzer puppy, was three weeks old on Saturday. So he's like three weeks and two days. Okay, people, this is like a hot mess again. Um, normally we do these on the floor when their eyes are open, but we really thought they would lay still, but they didn't. So we're already in the midst of it, so we're just going to deal with it. I keep moving them and shuffling them. Probably next week we're going to put their collars on them. Um, oh, my golly sake, people. Turn around here. So... I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Maybe they'll settle down. I kept thinking they'd settle, settle down and go to sleep. Go to sleep, lay still, lay still. Let me turn the scales on. They're still in their welt box, so we have not, that's not, oh stop, just lay still and you'll go right to sleep. You really will. Oh, okay, I just am afraid somebody will get away from me that I won't see and they'll fall off. So today we're gonna to start off with her adoptee child. Oh, people. He is really, really doing well, considering the size he was. His other siblings, Dreamer actually has six puppies. This is one of them, but we're keeping the other five. Um, I'm actually keeping uh, three of them, and my girlfriend's taking the other two. She raised the Schnauzers and wanted a couple new Schnauzer females, so... We're keeping Stryker's replacement, Kevin's replacement, and a female. I know you're having a fit. Let me hold you up here. Vanessa can get pictures of your face. He says, I don't like this. It doesn't look like where I'm normally supposed to be. There's nothing on my hands to eat. No, nothing there. He's doing really good. He's got a really, she shaved faces today and scooped their eyes out, I mean, so that you could see their eyes because their hair was getting really long. But he's got a really nice coat coming. He's nice and fuzzy. They're really fuzzy after that bath. Makes them really fuzzy when we give him a bath. I know, you're not a happy boy. All right, let me see what he weighs today. All right, you are one pound three, oh, one pound four ounces. I know it's really cold on there. I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry. But he's doing really good. Just a cute, cute baby. I know. I know, you're just doing really good. Okay, we're gonna put you down. Now, this is gonna be really tough to keep track of who I've done and who I haven't done. So I think we're gonna start, hmm, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the, the black ones first, and I'm gonna leave the ones, I'm gonna to try to do the least amount of spots last. So the ones with the most black spots is this one. Don't you dare go that way. Uh, this one is, oh, quit. Just give me a second here, puppy. Oh, come on. 56.72. I know you're not happy. I'm very sorry. I know. It only gets worse from here on out, Chico. I know. It only gets worse because you get to do more big boy things all the time. So this is a male. And he's really got pretty, pretty markings. His hair is, oh, I know you'll be fine. Hold still, I'm not gonna drop you. His hair is starting to get lots of waves and curls in it. They're getting really thick coats. And they've got really sharp toenails today. Their little toenails are like daggers. So now that their eyes are open, we're really gonna be hot on those toenails all the time so they don't scratch each other's eyes. One pound, 9.2 ounces as of, yeah, one pound, 9.4. All right, come out here, let me pick you up, you'll be fine. Now sit up here and let's get a good picture of your face with your eyes open. Tell Vanessa to zoom in really close so you can see those. Oh, I hear you growling at me. There's that growl. I, uh, I'm going to do pictures as soon as we're done and get them on the internet too. But 
black puppies' faces are so hard to be able to tell and see their eyes. All right, so we're gonna do you next. Don't you come my direction, lay right there. All right, this is 56.75 and this is a female. So she's got really pretty coat. I'll turn around here in a second. While she's holding still, I'll have Vanessa zoom in and give you a really close up face picture. I know everybody wants to see her eyes open. Her hair is really pretty. She's getting just like the other one. They're all getting really nice long hair. It's really soft. Yeah, I know you're doing really good. Just don't pee on the table. No, somebody got my hand wet. She is one pound, 7.6. All right, I'm gonna put you down here. And I got one more. Uh, we did that one, we did that one. Your chocolate, okay, it's this one. The chocolate in certain lights are really hard to tell if they're chocolate or if they're black. So this one is 56.71, and this is a female. Yep, it's a female. I know, you're just a pretty girl. Can you hold up here and, let me hold you up here and get you to hold still and get a face. Oh, she says I don't wanna do this. Nope, don't wanna do it anymore. Are you done? Are you done? All right, let's see what you weigh. She's got nice coloring on her back too. She's really got a pretty coat. Okay, they're finally calming down. Ah, uh, one pound, 9.2. Okay, 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 okay. I'll get you off that cold thing. It's really cold, I know it is, I'm sorry. Everybody's going to sleep now, thank goodness. <laughs> All right, so this is the last female. She's the one with the least amount of spots. She's got the spot on her back. Really nice soft coat. She's got a really pretty face. I don't know if you know this, but she's got one ear that's white and the other ear is all black on it. Oh, there's a little bit of white on that outside edge, I guess. I know, can you turn around there? Noses are starting to fill in with black. I know, let me hold you up. You have to give her, just give them just 30 seconds. Can you do that? She says, nope, don't wanna do it. Let me hold you different, let me hold you this way. How's that? See, no better for you, huh? See, nope, don't like it. Are you tired? <laughs> oh my goodness sake. You're bored with this, aren't you? All right, so she is one pound, 2.4 ounces. All right, Munchkin, come here. All right, we got the hard part done. So, I gotta go. No, we're not coming my way. You're too much, you're too sliding over there like an alligator. All right, so this one's a chocolate. I'll move this and they're all gonna wanna move, I betcha. All right, move up here, there you go. So this is a chocolate. I think the chocolates are the two biggest. They've got really nice coats. And the nose is almost filled in with chocolate. This one is 56.70. This one's gonna hold still. So the housekeeper's upstairs on the hardwood floor. So I don't know if you can hear that or not in the video, but yep, she's sweeping the floor. Uh, really nice markings on the back. <laughs> Normally we have to contend with heaters or boxes being shipped. Now we have someone sweeping the hardwood floor upstairs. Uh, we are one pound 12.4. I told you these were big. It's getting louder, it's getting over the top. She's <laughs> getting over the top of us. All right, I need to take you and move you just a tiny bit. All right, let's move you. Did I interrupt your sleep? Turn you around that way so you don't crawl my way. So this is the other one. They're both males, aren't they? Yeah, they're both boys. <coughs> 5673 is microchip number. And again, really nice coats on these guys. Your nose is all brown. You all, this one's got an all brown nose, all turned in completely brown. It usually takes a couple weeks to get them there when they're born. But coats are really pretty. It's got this all brown tail with this little tiny, there is about 10 white hairs right on the tip of that tail. So he's got just about 10 white hairs there. 
Otherwise, he's got an all chocolate butt and he's got a chocolate tail. All right, let's see what you weigh. Ah, uh, one pound, 10.2. So you're all, you guys are both bigger than everybody else. So that's the crew. It's an unorganized crew, but that's okay. Um, they're really doing good. They're going to get, um, they've already had their first two week worming. I see your eyes, your eyes are rolling back in your head. Um, tail, toenails are gonna get cut today. They get a bath every single week. So it just, it really changes their brain. So by the time they hit three weeks, if they're up and walking really good in their box, we dump them on the floor and they'll go on a carpeted area with newspaper where they can go. Um, they're actually in a five by 10 kennel with mom. So once we dump them, uh, we may put them in a five by five kennel for a little bit and then move them to a, a five by 10 when they're really running around. So it gives them plenty of room. But other than that, they probably won't start nibbling on food till three and a half to four weeks old. But um, they're doing really good so far. So if you have any questions about these guys, give me a call. If you want to book in for puppy pickup, please do so. Um, because I think these guys, these guys go home before Christmas or after Christmas. I can't remember. But if you're going home after Christmas, nobody has booked for after Christmas yet. And it's going to fill up really, really fast. So just kind of be conscientious of the dates you want to pick up. Give me a call and we'll see if we can get you worked in. Um, we're doing COVID pickups on the hour. So um, when you do book, uh, please, if you can, be on time because we do have people booked in uh, an hour apart because of COVID. So I hope everybody's well and stays well and uh, they're doing great. If you have any questions, give us a call and we'll talk to you later.